This again will be about science and refractive states of all normal eyes. I consider that to be refractive states in the range of plus two to minus two. It's important to never call that an error or a defect. Maybe that idea will become clear eventually. Again, you can put a minus on a completely normal eye and it will go down. The converse for the totally normal eye is you can put a plus on the normal eye, say zero diopters, and it will change in the plus direction. Thus, the normal eye is bidirectional. It's controlling its refractive states, all eyes, to its average of accommodation. This is like a finely tuned watch. That's exactly what it does. This is fine in engineering until you impose the words medical defect, and then the world explodes and all reason and logic fly out the window. With all due respect. But let's cover the issue which was Jake Rafelson's issue. And that is a plus to get your refractive state to go from minus three quarters to plus one. The Eskimos with superior vision have a refractive state of plus one, and I will post that data. Primates have, living in the wild, have refractive states of about plus one. But how you understand that, this is going to be up to you. I like to call it the elephant in the middle of the room because it's the person's understanding that must make the difference. I will also post remarks by Black described in her video where she describes how she managed to get her refractive state to change from about minus three quarters, which is nearsighted myopic, to plus four. I'm sure that was not her intention, but that's what happens. And that's what just proves the point that the eye is dynamic. It doesn't prove defect or anything like that. It's proof of concept, proof by measurements. At this point, in order for a person to understand this, I would rather insist that the person explicitly measure his own refractive state as you see me doing it. This means you're putting all responsibility on the person himself. If he doesn't understand it or won't measure his own refractive state, he has no business in a scientific effort. We have proposed this for a four-year college for students at minus half doctor, 2030, 2040. Because of Black's experience with the PLUS and her ability to use it, I suggest that type of prevention is possible for the person who has the science behind them and their resolve to do it. However, that person wouldn't go to four doctors when he saw self-measured plus one doctor, which is totally normal. He just stopped wearing the plus lens. But that is not medicine because you can't prescribe this. You absolutely can't do that. You can't even talk about prescribing it. It is truly a matter of a person's intellectual understanding of science and the fact as they now exist. This has been proposed, but it's been blocked for many reasons, as you probably understand why. Yes, I realize that you're in college, you're at minus three quarters, sitting down and putting work away, push it away. To get rid of the near environment is extremely difficult for most people to understand. But there really is not no other practical way. This is a low cost way to do it. I certainly wish I had the opportunity to do it, but it really does depend on a person's understanding of science and fact, not as they existed 150 years ago, but as they exist today. And even I'll post Black's squareable remark about her using a plus. She complained of headaches and when and complained, they gave her a minus and then they gave her a plus, which she really liked and she wore it. 
And so 16 later, years later, she's wearing a plus four. Very educational. Look at the Eskimo data. Uh, I don't think you could ever do prevention as medicine or in any sense, in any way possible. But where the person will make the measurements himself, then prevention at 2030 would be possible. And you're after a positive refractive state. And what is a positive refractive state? It is when you're reading the 20, 25 to 20, 20 line and you go, hold up a plus one and look at the 2020 line and you can still read it through a plus one. That defines a positive refractive state of all normal eyes. So think for yourself, this is not easy. It's absolutely not medicine and never will be medicine, but there's a heavy scientific basis for prevention at 2030. Thank you.